Hello, good evening everybody. I'm really excited to be here tonight and share with you more about how to master your messenger like a boss. Tips and tricks and things that you will love. Um, I, if, I haven't posted my welcome video yet. I will be doing that shortly. But um, if you don't know much about me, I was a teacher previously and part of what I love to do is to share tips and tricks and things that I have learned because I know that that is the best way for other people to learn. So I'm excited to have you guys here. I'm just gonna make sure I am live in the right group. There we go, okay. If you're here, hop on, uh, let us know that you're live. The first thing I wanna ask you, and there's an, a variety of people, um, this group will be morphing a little bit, um, a variety of people in here who use social media for business, whether it's network marketing, affiliate marketing, photography, insurance, if you're using social media, chances are you are using Facebook Messenger. So I would love to hear Number one, what is your business? What industry are you in? And number two, do you use Facebook Messenger? If so, let me know, okay? Um, I do have some notes because I had a couple of really good things that I wanted to make sure that I shared and I do not want to forget. So if I'm looking down, that is why. So I wanna tell you a couple of tidbits that I think will be really, really resourceful. It will take some time uh, to get them set up, but sometimes if you slow down, it allows you to go faster. So I'm just gonna preface it with this. Do not go spend four or five hours all through your messenger, going through and using all these tips and tricks. I would chunk them, I would do smaller little things, you know, as things are coming in through messenger, as you have new clients, as you have new conversations, implement these and maybe spend a couple minutes a day going through older messages. So that way you're not just, spending too much time doing you know all of these tips so let's start with the first one that i have to share with you guys which is the search bar if you have never used a search bar messenger and i have it here on my ipad i'm going to pull up as well at the top is a search bar for a variety of different things you can use it for you can search names which most people know but you may not know you can search for key words as well. So let's say you are in um, a photography business and you have someone that has you know, a wedding date or whatever it is. Maybe you're using Messenger for other things too. You can search keyword like wedding or bride. If you have a network marketing business, you might search a key product that you tend to talk a lot about or um, business partner or you know whatever it is that you might find in your threads. So that's something that not a lot of people know, but is a really fun tip. So if you know that there's something that you use pretty frequently, go back to my threads here. Like I said, you can just tap in the search bar, search the word, and it should come up there. You can also search within a conversation. So let's go to one that I know. Okay, I'm going to click on my friend Heidi. I think she's here in this group too. If I go to Heidi and then I click up at the top where her name is, we're gonna to get to this part in a little bit again too. Um, you see theme, emoji, nicknames. I'll tell you about those here in a little bit. But then underneath that is search in the conversation. So if I wanna search something, I can say, okay, I remember having a conversation with Heidi about whatever it is. And then I search that word and it will go back and it will find wherever that came up in the thread, which is phenomenal because oftentimes you're sitting there going, Oh my gosh, I'm wasting time scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So use those tools to help cut down on the time. So that's the first tip is using the search bar. Now, I mentioned using these individual threads and this is where it gets really fun. So if you go to an individual thread, this can be a one-on-one -on -one conversation, this can be a uh, group chat. There are several things you can do to keep yourselves a little bit more organized. So again, I'm just using uh, my friend Heidi here for a minute. You can change the theme. So that will give it a different color. You can change the emoji that pops up because it's defaulting to that little blue, you know, ta -da, thumbs up. You can change it to something else on the emojis. Nicknames, we're gonna get to this here in a second, but you can come in here and you can change the person's nickname or your own nickname to something else and use emojis to help with that. Um, if you have group threads, I'm going to try to see if I have any that have pulled up. Not recently. Okay, here's one. 
So here's one that I have for my business. Notice that the picture doesn't have two people on there anymore. It has an icon. So when you have a group thread, you can change the chat name. You can click here and you can change the chat photo as well. What's really fun about that is it's a visual way as you're scrolling through your messenger to see what you might want to use or what you're looking for. It's, it's visual. So maybe some things are, are blue, some things are yellow, some things are pink. If you have those group threads, that's a really great option for you. My favorite thing and the thing that I was most excited to share with you guys though is the hint, the, the hack with nicknames. So give me a, um, I don't know, give me a fire emoji in the comments if you would like to know how to quickly come up with people, a list of people that are all in a category. So I'm in network marketing. I have people who are prospective customers of mine, people who are current customers of mine, people who are prospective business partners of mine, people who are current business partners of mine. And then I have a bunch of other threads that are personal and you know a variety of other things too. So there's a lot of stuff going on in my messenger thread. If you come up with your own emoji nicknames, I'm not gonna tell you what to choose, so pick whatever you want. I have one that's a star, I have one that's a flower, I have one that's a heart. Um, I have, like, I, I learned this tip from a girl who is in Unique, so she has a lipstick for like her customers. She's also a real estate agent, so her uh, real estate client, she has a house. What you can do is you can start categorizing people based on the group that they're in, and then assign that group an icon, an emoji, and then here's how this works. So you go in again, you clack, you clack, huh? You click on, um, you click on the person's name, right? And then right up here, you can change the nickname. Just put the emoji in the nickname and then type in their name and then you hit save and you go back. Then what will happen is it becomes searchable. So going back to that search bar, you can search by categories of people. Now there is one flaw that I have found. Um, Facebook is always changing, right? It seems to only find stuff that has been within the last like, I don't know, 200, 250 messages. So if you're a messenger all the time, it may not find all of these people. So you may still want another tool to keep track of them, but it's a phenomenal tool for something like this. Oh my gosh, there's a sale with my business. Oh, I'm having a, you know, special pricing for for bridal portraits. Hey, I've got, a, you know, it's it's enrollment season for insurance agents. If you have people that you know that you want to get a hold of right then and there, watch this. Uh, I think my flower I have it written down somewhere. I believe my flower is my perspective um, customers, people that have asked me about my wellness products, about CBD, and um, just so you know, like the point of this group is not to to get you to buy my stuff or to to join my team or anything. I'm just giving you an example, right? So, um, I, on your phone it shows up more, but here I just typed in the flower into the search bar, and the first couple of people show up right there. Amazing, right? A great way to organize your contacts. So. Two other things I want to share with you guys. That's all the kind of organizational hacks. But if you are communicating with people back and forth in Messenger, Facebook and the algorithm, that dreaded algorithm, right? They say, oh wow, you have a relationship. You guys like each other. So we're going to show you more of each other's stuff, which is great if they're prospective clients and customers, if they're current customers and you want to love on them, if they're people that you do business with. But if you're in network marketing, maybe the people that you're partnered with are not necessarily the people that you want to see. So my suggestion is if you have any kind of internal communication happening in Messenger, take it out. Take it to WhatsApp, take it to Viber, take it to Voxer, take it somewhere else. Because every time that you're in interacting with people that are in your company, Facebook's going, oh my gosh, these people like each other. We're gonna show you more of each other's stuff. If you keep seeing each other's stuff, that's fine and dandy, but that doesn't help either one of you expand your reach. It doesn't help either one of you have better visibility among your network and you want to be able to see other people, to see what's going on with other people. So if you have internal communication within Messenger, take it out, 
take it to another app and that will clean up your feed and also make it a lot easier to see the active conversations you're having with people that you want to be doing business with, right? Give me an amen if that makes sense, guys. One more thing to share, and this was a huge aha when I realized that this happened. How many of you get a text message or a Facebook message and you're like, oh my gosh, I saw it and I totally forgot to respond and it's four days later. What happened? You were at a traffic light, your kid did something and you had to go running out of the room, you just plain forgot whatever it is. There is now a mark it unread option. I believe it's on, on uh, iPad too, so hopefully this works. But Heidi just sent me a message and I read it because I clicked on her name to show you guys stuff. If I swipe it to the left, you see those three little buttons there? Click those three little buttons. Mark as unread. So here's what you do. When you get a new friend request or someone accepts your friend request and it sends you that little, hey, you've got a new friend. Sometimes it shows up on red, sometimes it doesn't. So if I scroll through my messenger, I swipe, mark on red, swipe, mark on red. Those are people I want to connect with. Those are people I want to have a conversation with. Get to know, who are you? How can I help you? What, you know, what do you bring to the table? Is there anything I can do to help you in your business? Is there anything, you know, that you need from me? We have that dialogue, but it's really important to see them. So swipe it, mark it on red. Um, I have, a, I have a personal preference and a lot of people don't like this, but I have a lot of like red little bubbles all over my phone because I leave things unread until I have a chance to get to them. But sometimes you hit it by accident and you're like, oh shoot, I want to make sure that I can get back to that person, but I don't have time right now. Swipe it, mark on red, and there you go. My suggestion is to go in and to clear it out by the end of the day. Um, sometimes your Facebook Messenger on your phone or your iPad does not show you everything that's on red. So if you have a computer, hop on your computer every day or two, if you can, and get on there. Not only because you're going to see messages that may not have been seen before on your app, but also because there's going to be uh, message requests much more visible. If someone's trying to connect with you and they're not your Facebook friend, Facebook's like, oh, you're a stranger, stranger danger, let's sit you over here. You want to make sure that you get to those messages because what if it's someone who's contacting you about business? Hey, uh, my friend Susie said you're an amazing uh, insurance agent and you're an amazing network marketer and you're an amazing this and you're amazing that and I wanna do business with you, but I don't have your phone number so I'm reaching out on Facebook Messenger. But Facebook goes, oh, we don't, stranger danger, I don't, you don't know each other so we're gonna put, put these over here. So make sure you're hopping onto a desktop, a laptop, some kind of a, you know, traditional computer to get in there and look for those message requests because I have found some of them like, uh oh, that was from several months ago and I probably should have found that before now. Okay, one last thing I said too, but there's one last thing that I want to share with you guys. If you're in business, which those of you who are watching this are, and hopefully as we continue to build this group, um, you know, we'll, we'll find more like-minded people that do business online. You are not alone when somebody ghosts you, when somebody forgets to get back to you, when somebody doesn't make a decision, okay? All of these little tips and tricks, think of them as nudges. You're not necessarily going, hey, hey, you wanna do business with me? Hey, hey, but you know what happens when you change the, the picture or you make a nickname or you change the, th the thread color, or you give it a different emoji, they get a notification that says, Laura just made the chat thread a diamond instead of a thumbs up. And Ashley changed the thread to pink instead of blue. Guess what happens? Their life is busy too, just like yours. You just went, oh crap, I forgot you know, to respond to that message. They did too, most likely. So they're gonna get a little nudge that says, Hey, I'm just messing, I'm just tweaking and organizing here. Oh, I forgot to get back to Ashley. I know that I was gonna talk to her about A, B, and C. I should do that. Oh, Laura and I were having a great conversation about this thing, business, you know, she has this business and I was gonna do this thing with her. I was gonna buy this product, I was gonna join her business, whatever it is, I completely forgot. So when you go in and change, not only does it help you organize, but it will help you just send a little bit of a reminder to those people that you are still there. 
okay? So if you guys have other tips or tricks about Messenger that you have learned, feel free to share them below. Um, I'm excited about what we're gonna be doing here in this group, and please, 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 if you guys have other people that you think would benefit from content like this, send them an invite, let them know what the group is, and invite them to come here. They will not be able to watch this video unless they are inside of this group. And I did put on the description today, I need you guys to, um, answer the questions. If you're here, you probably already did. Um, but I'm going to have people answering those questions because I want to know what are you struggling with when it comes to social media? What are the things that you want to learn? The emails, I haven't set that all up yet, but eventually I'll send out reminders like, Hey, I'm going live about this topic. So it's just a great way for you to stay in the loop because you want to learn and I want to help teach and I can't help teach if I don't know what you need. Okay, it's not like when I taught eighth grade math and they gave me a curriculum of here are all the things that you need to do for the year. This is a lot of dialogue and I want to know from you guys, what do you need? I will, you know, tell you what I know. I will go learn some new things and share new things that I learned and I cannot wait to be on this journey together. So happy whatever day it is, uh, Wednesday, I believe. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for being here and I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon. All right, have a good night.